Hi, are you okay? So this is the second lesson. It's working. Second lesson for the probability. Um, looking at all these new starters, staff getting tours around. Here is the maths department. This is where all the hard work happens. Right, so, sorry, the, the vids are still five minutes long. Um, so you've got 27 videos. Sorry. Right, tree diagrams, dead simple then. You can do this. So, you know, let's... let's do this really quickly. So we've got 10 questions, seven on stats, three on mechanics. Uh, Anissa and Ben do a question each for homework, uh, and they each independently select a question at random. Um, find the probability that they both choose the same type of question. Right, so it says is going to be the first choice, Ben's going to be the second choice. So the probabilities of each event are, so they're going to be the same, aren't they? As the events are independent. There, that goes. Have I missed something that talks about tree diagrams? Because the completed pack I've got yep, has got some, um, it's got some extra info. Right, so let's have a quick look then. So Anissa is the first one. And she can choose a question on mechanics or a question on stats. And that mechanics is 3 out of 10, stats is 7 out of 10. So then Ben can do it as well. Uh, mechanics, stats, mechanics, stats. Now they're independent of each other. It doesn't matter which one, what Anise has done. So these, uh, these probabilities are the same. Right, so what am I going to work out here? So it says, uh, what am I asking? So find the probability that they both choose the same type of subject. So what I'm looking at is, they both choose mechanics, and they both choose statistics. So you should be happy that the, the probability of the Anissa and Ben choosing mechanics, oh, put a map there, for mechanics, is going to be 3 over 10 times 3 over 10, which is 9 out of 100. And for this one, the probability of choosing stats and then stats is 7 out of 10 times 7 out of 10. So what we want is all of them, both of them added together, don't we? So it's going to be 9 out of 100, add 49 out of 100, which is 58 out of 100, which cancels down to 29 out of 50. There. Whew, that's all right. They're independent. All right, so this one mustn't be independent. So let's have a look at this one then. So it says 10 questions, 7 stats, 3 mechanics. Chloe is asked to select two different questions. So what I've got here now, I've got Chloe's first question and Chloe's second question. So this time, the uh, probabilities aren't going to be the same. So they're going to be different because they're not independent. Keep an eye on the clock. Four minutes. Oh, my word. Right, so what have we got? So I've got mechanics and stats. So first time she does it, three out of ten, seven out of ten. Now, if she chose mechanics on the first one, she can't choose that same one. So I'm down to two questions out of nine. And the stats is uh, oops, still seven questions but out of nine. If she chooses stats on the first one, I'm still okay with my three out of nine now, but the stats drops down to six out of nine. So I've chosen the stats question. The stats question has now got less choices. So what am I after now then? So what the probability chooses, so find the probability that she chooses one question of each time. Right, so I can do mechanics for the first one, Stats for the second one, or I can do stats for the first one, mechanics on the second one. So I'm looking at.